Hey guys, we received a floor jack from Vivor. We currently have one in the shop right now by Pittsburgh. You can buy it at Harbor Freight. We're gonna compare the two and see which one holds it better. So first, the thing we notice on this is the frame. So what I see with it is one, that this material is thicker than the, the Pittsburgh floor jack we have now. So I have a magnetic watch, you can see it's non-ferrous, it's not sticking. So this is probably some kind of cast aluminum, whereas the Pittsburgh floor jack is a steel with iron in it. And you can see, these sides are flared over as well as the bottom, which is probably to reduce any kind of um, lateral movement in the frame. But because this is thicker, I'd imagine that they're around the similar strength. The aluminum does help a little bit with the weight. So if you're moving these around a lot, I'd imagine that this one would be much easier. And then you have these handles, which are kind of a game changer. One really big thing that I like about this, this feature, you have handles on both sides of the frame on this floor jack. That's huge because when you're under a vehicle and you have to work on your placement, Look how easy that is compared to any other floor jack I've seen. They never have handles. So you kind of have to awkwardly move it around, pinch your fingers because they are low profile jacks. So this is a big deal for me. I love this. Another really cool thing about this jack is it does come with a pad. So this prevents any kind of damage to your pinch welds. Um, this will stop paint from scraping off on your frame. The Pittsburgh jack we have here doesn't come with one. And you can see this is pretty rough. So that's gonna scratch up some, some paint on the, the pinch welds and cause premature rust and and any kind of corrosion if you have an aluminum body. So the next thing I wanna look at is probably the most important part, is the arm. This is what's gonna have all the stress taken from the vehicle getting lifted. You can see they're pretty similar. They both use the same kind of arm style. Um, the Pittsburgh Jack is slightly thicker and they all use snap rings on the ends of these little pivot points. And they're pretty similar. In the back, you have two greasable Zergs on each side. This one has one and this one also has one. So they both have greasable joints which is good for long-term maintenance. Now, as far as the hydraulic system in both of these jacks, they're almost identical. So no matter what jack you get, you're gonna have the same jacking performance. The one thing I do wanna go over is here you can see that this isn't welded. There's actually three bolts on the back that secure this back mount where it holds the wheel to the frame of this jack. Now, it's probably secure. I would imagine it's, it's pretty safe. Personally, I would have rather seen this welded like the Pittsburgh jack has, but as long as it's, it's secure, it does have lock washers on it, so I don't see these bolts ever backing out. But just personally, my opinion, I'd like to see this welded. So one thing I did just notice is the actual bolt, the pin that goes through these wheels, has a larger diameter on this jack than compared to the Harbor Freight. You can see the pin's slightly smaller. Now I don't know metal metallurgy. I would imagine that larger is better with these. So one other thing I did notice about the V-Board jack is the jack lifting handle position, when it rests, it's not perfectly 90 degrees. So this does sit back a little bit on maybe a 10 degree angle, whereas the Pittsburgh jack sits at 90 degrees. Now the question everybody is wondering is how loud is the jack? I did find the V-Vore jack to be slightly quieter when rolling on concrete or a harder material like a driveway compared to the Pittsburgh jack, which as everyone knows, jacks are extremely loud. So having a quieter jack is nicer to your neighbors. All in all, the V-A4 jack has some really cool features that I see lacking on other jacks that I personally would enjoy using. I would trust it for my own vehicle and I would buy this jack.